I was four years old, I told my parents I want to be a marine biologist. I couldn't pronounce it. I didn't really know what it was, but I knew that I wanted to do something with the ocean. And if I was really prodded, I'd have to say that probably images of Jacques Cousteau and just going to the beach and family trips to the ocean probably had a big role in that. I was inspired to become an earth scientist, was my first inclination, um, by flying over the ground a lot in my um, youth. My, my father flew airplanes and spent a lot of time in the air wondering how landforms were, were made. I remember growing up, um, the Apollo program was going on. We were all excited about that. We all had food sticks in our lunch. Um, we hated them, but we ate them anyway because that's what the astronauts ate. Um, I'm told when I was a little kid and we moved that I packed a box of rocks from the backyard um, and my parents paid to move them and didn't know that until we got to the new house and they opened the box and, and found them. I remember liking museums, liking uh, movies about things that were sciencey, um, but it's hard to think of a particular event that got me excited about uh, science, but I guess looking back there was always some indication that I found uh, the natural world interesting. Actually, it's a funny story. Um, so when I was about 11, um, I got a book from the Scholastic Book Club book order that pretty much every school probably still does. And um, there was a picture in the book of a hydrothermal vent chimney. And I looked at that and I pointed at it and I said, that is what I want to study. It's exactly what I want to do. And so ever since I was 11, I've basically been working towards getting to where I am now. And um, I'm finally doing what I wanted to do, which is really exciting. My father was in the aerospace business and he was not a scientist but he actually didn't even finish college but he was completely uh, impressed with and had such great faith in scientists and engineers and talked about him with such um, he was so impressed that I thought well who wouldn't want to be a scientist The most exciting part and what really drives any of us to do this kind of research and work is the thrill of discovery and we're all really vested and kind of interested in um, putting in the long hours necessary to study and answer the questions that we come up with. I, I think the coolest thing is that when I come into work every day, um, within limits I get to pick uh, what I do that day, what kind of projects I work on, how I spend my time, and I know that in any given day I could learn something new. The coolest part of my job, well, all of it's really cool. Um, I really enjoy the fieldwork aspect, so once or twice a year we get to come out here to Juan de Fuca and uh, basically spend several weeks, or last year I was out for three months um, on a ship um, and either put in new corks, new installations, uh, deploy new experiments, um, get download accumulated data uh, that's been being collected by the corks for the last year. Um, and it's always really exciting to come out here because you never know what you're going to get. You might have an idea of you know, the data you're going to collect or the experiments you're going to recover, but you're never really 100% positive of what you're going to see. And we're always getting a little bit surprised. And that, I think, is really fun. And it keeps everything really fresh and interesting. The coolest part, I think, is, is things like these, going on cruises, field trips. For me, it was always like the most motivating thing to do. Just get out there, places that other people usually cannot do. And see things that others cannot see. I think that's the most stimulating, the most uh, amazing thing of the job. I also enjoy the getting the, the part that I'm part of a, a very, very, very large endeavor that is takes place all over the world and has been going on for literally thousands of years. Because, I mean, if I collaborate with people and they're collaborating with people and they collaborated with people when they were just starting out and they collaborated with people. I mean, I'm collaborating with people who've been dead for centuries, I feel like. I mean, it's all part of one massive undertaking to simply figure out everything we can figure out. Not to make money, <laughs> but if you want to have independence and uh, uh, always be intellectually stimulated, it's a great great uh, way to go. Why would you want to be a scientist? Because science is awesome. Being a scientist is great fun because you uh, never work on the same problem twice. You're always working on new problems. You're always being creative and thinking of new ideas, new ways to do things. Um, and so it, it, it's not like uh, uh, where you're doing the same job day in and day out, uh, which is really nice. And it's always 
fascinating, takes you, you never know where it's really going to take you. Because in many ways, a professor is like a, a um, entrepreneur. I mean, you're defining your own days. You're pursuing what you want to pursue. I think being a scientist is probably the most childlike uh, career you could possibly have because you get to come up with crazy questions and then try to figure out the answers. And no one stops you from asking those why questions. Why does this happen? Why does that happen? You're encouraged to find out the answers to those things. Um, and I, I mean, that, that's part of the, the love I have for this job is that every day my, my task is to come up with some exciting question and try to find the answer to it. Um, uh, so if I were a kid, well, even when I was a kid, that was what I wanted to do, find out the answers to things. Here's, here's another thing. If anyone who enjoys occasionally, you know, reading Wikipedia and then you get, start reading through and you're like, wow, I cannot believe people know this. Wikipedia, this is where it comes from, is people actually figure something out, they learn a new fact, and it's like, okay, everyone, it's official. Enough people have agreed this is probably how something works, and then eventually goes to Wikipedia. You get to be the first one to find out. A lot of intellectual freedom to uh, 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 pursue th those things that become interesting to you. And as your interests change, your direction can change. Um, you get to uh, provide knowledge to uh, students and the community. Things that they don't know now, you might discover and be able to share with them. It's, if you're leaning in that direction at all, it's a really exciting um, and satisfying career. I think the most um, compelling reason to be a scientist is that you get to make up your experiments. You get to dictate what you want to do from day to day. Um, we, nobody uh, experiences the same thing every single day as a scientist. Each day is a fresh new um, d day to do your experiments and to invent what you want to do next. So it never gets boring.